Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ogwe Edward Monoyo and on this channel, I tell medical stories. I talk about my faith in God and also um, I show you sometimes my lifestyle and share some life tips. Um, but on today's um, video, I was just um, having a thought this morning about the impact of the Russian-Ukraine war on many students and families. Um, just so that you know, uh, many people who come to Ukraine are not um, essentially very like wealthy and uh, boxed up. Many times when I get to interact with um, people from other continents, uh, other parts of Europe as well, um, they ask me this question, hey Edward, why? Uh, why do we have a lot of African students studying in Ukraine, um, especially sometimes Nigerians? And the very, very um, straightforward answer everyone will tell you is because it is cheap. You know, in comparison to other parts of the world and other parts of Europe, uh, studying in Ukraine is actually very cheap. and. Um, a lot of people can try to afford it. Um, I, I was in a private university in Nigeria, Ibn um, University, uh, that I studied with there for a while. And actually, comparing the price with studying in a private university in Nigeria is almost the same um, as studying here in Ukraine. So it's quite cheap. We know cheap is relative, but in comparison to somewhere where you study for, almost about 20,000 um, USD an estimate a year um, in Ukraine you study as low as 2,000, 3,000, 4, 5,000 dollars so where I'm leading to is that most people who come to Ukraine um, not everybody but some part of the population they um, send their kids here to have a better life and um, they're actually here because sometimes you hear the sacrifices that people have to go through they have to sell these they have to do that you know just for their children's dream to come to pass and um, right here in ukraine sometimes they have um let's just say right here right in ukraine um they have this system whereby people can pay fees like you know um, beats in beats, maybe if you have your 500, your 200, 300, so um, it's quite easy sometimes, not uh, easy, easy, you get what I'm saying, for parents to be able to pay the fees in beats as um, they hustle and try to get the money. And I was just thinking this morning, um, what devastating impact could this war um, have um, with in, in the lives of some people that? Probably um, it was all they invested to send their kids for out for a better life, and um, probably um, this is all that they can um, imagine will be um, their um, the opportunity for their dreams to come true, and all the sacrifices that they may have placed. So for such um, a person um, and family, this may be of a great impact because. I remember when I discussed a video here, if you haven't seen it, what next to do? Um, that can be a very devastating question to ask because they exhausted all their resources, maybe, and uh, they don't have that lifeline to be able to um, look somewhere else or to be able to start off something from the scratch. This is something that might have you must say building out of sweat and blood and thinking of that um it really touched my heart you know this morning and i was like Whoa. i can't even imagine what it means to be in that situation right now but um i was listening to a song this morning as well as last night from snatch a new song and um is titled the final word and um, in the pinned comment she wrote that we may know what expats have to say we may know what the news have to say 
we may know what um, you know our circumstances or may say but do we know what God says and his word is the final God has the final word I don't have words for anyone probably in that situation um, I can pray and I can encourage just like that's why I pick up this video um, to make to encourage anyone in that situation that God has the final word um, do not lose hope there are many times in my life where I thought that things has wrapped up and they've actually ended but you know in the midst of the darkness you know light just shines forth from God and um, while it may not look like um there may be um a light in this tunnel you know it's cliche to say there's always light at the end of the tunnel but maybe sometimes we don't see the light but um it's definitely going to shine okay so um just that my heart um is anyone in this situation i just want to encourage you and i just want you to know that um God is raising people to pray and to help you and um, that help will come from places that you do not expect. Just keep trusting in God. You know, um, there's a song that says, they that trust in the Lord uh, are secure. And um, for this anchor of promises, sure, my grace is sufficient for you. The grace of God is sufficient. And for such families, um, do not lose hope. Keep trusting in God. You know, that same God who helped you and started this dream with you he's faithful to walk out a way for you and make a way in the midst of the darkness and um at the end of this you would have um, testimony so um and also just for everyone around um let's be praying um for people um some people are still some students are still stopped in um in um, her son ukraine as well we thank god for those in sumi who was able to make it out i was so excited to see some of my friends you know and um, there's so many different things right now in the minds of people navigating and um, we can pray for everyone we can pray for our friends in ukraine and those who are um, that's their native home some people actually do not have anywhere to go that's where they are and that's all they have and that's all where they can be so um Let's just stay prayed up and uh, keep trusting God. And I don't know. That's all I just wanted to say today. And uh, have a wonderful day and keep trusting God. I want to believe that at the end of all this, um, some of you all will be coming back to the comment section to say, God works. You know, <laughs> prayer works. And all this just work together, accomplishing God's plan. For, um, for for my life. I wanted to take a look at this video where I shared my own testimony about how it almost looked like my medical dream was going to go um, into the dust, into the wind, and how God helped me to overcome. And today I'm here. So um, even if you think all hope is lost, um, just trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Lean on not on your own understanding or what you have or what you don't have. And the Bible says that he shall direct your path. Meditate on the word of God. Because the Bible says in that word we shall find success. Um, have a wonderful day. And I love you until my next video. Bye.